Hey there, before moving to a performing test using an open phone, knowing the Windows system for Linux uh, distribution, uh, let me address something about, about settings and hardware performance. So as you go to the documentation, just go here, advanced settings, and I want to point out that there are two files that <coughs> the <coughs> you need to create. No, they are not created automatically. Uh, your <coughs> your distribution will take some default values. So you have this one, which is a global file. It is located in Windows installation. Okay. So here you're going to define some parameters such as stuff, such as number of processors that you want to use memory and so on okay and then you have this one that is specific for your distribution okay so this is the one that in the distribution that we're giving <coughs> we're, 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 <coughs> we're giving to you you know if you want to install this where we specify the name of the default user and so on so these files now takes a specific values there's on the file default values so if you don't have it doesn't matter, we'll take the default value. So right here is documentation and see here that you have all the default values for the WSL com file that is located in Linux, okay, in the Etsy folder. Okay. So basically you can take here you not know, the default values or this example and then you can uh, adapt it to your names. Okay, so in our case what I did is just define this all this this user. See here that I, also you can define your host name, your network name, so you can get different names. It's up to you. So let me show you here in my distribution. So I will go to this one, the custom in my original one that the one that I install. Uh, the first time I don't need that file, it will automatically log into the user. So just to show you the problems with the one that you need to distribute. So the constant one. So the file is located Etsy and the name is this one. Okay. By the way, so you need to modify the file. You need to, to have uh, <clears throat> uh, the, the root password. Okay. As a normal, regular user, you cannot modify. I'm not going to modify just to look at the file. So see that I have the file here. I just copy that example from the website. I, I commented everything. Okay. I just need this one, the default user here. So if, if you don't, you don't define this default user, it will automatically uh, log in as the root. Okay. So it's just to force. And then you have all the other options. Okay. So it will be up to you. So let me go out. So for instance, uh, if you look at here, in your terminal, this is exactly the same name for of the Windows computer. Okay, but if you want to give a different name there, just put your name, the host name. Okay, so this is the pair distribution file, and now let's take a look at the second file, the .ws config. Okay, so this this one will control stuff like hardware. So see here that you have the memory. So by default, the virtual machine will use 50% of the memory in your computer. You can increase, decrease that. It's up to you. Also by default, we'll use all the processors available and many other options. So see that you have also swap memory and stuff like, like that. So you have here an example. It's up to you to take it. Then you can just adapt it. And let me show you my file because this one is also located in Windows. Okay. So here in user, your user, and then you have it. So just to show you my case, have it here. So users, Yoyi, and then you have it here. Okay. You need to create that file. So I already have it here open and see that in my case, I just took two options. Okay. I didn't copy everything, but it's the one you can compute, uh, copy and paste everything and then comment the lines. And the only thing that I wanted to enforce was the amount of memory. Okay. So <clears throat> in my, if you don't give it, it will use 50%. So in this computer, I have 32 gigs. It will use 16 gigs. In my case, I want to use 20 gigs or if you want, you can use more, more, more memory. So just to show you, for instance, I will put here <coughs> 24. So immediately you don't see that memory. So H dot here, see that you have 20 gigs. Also, you can use this command and it go, it's going to show, you know, the memory and also swap memory. So to see that memory, you need to shut down that <clears throat> your, your distribution. So type this command and then relaunch. So now I will launch it again. 
So it will take a while, <coughs> a while because it's just waking up all the services and, and everything. <coughs> but now you're going to see the new memory, okay? And then the sub memory is also is adapted according to this memory. So it's up to you to choose a default value, okay? So I will go back here to this one. So the same steps, so just to show you that it's, if you shoot down there, it will also close this one. So see that it, and now let me go back here. I launch the custom and <clears throat> then here it went back to the value. So it's up to you. Okay. So please just read these instructions here. So I ha honestly have to say that all the default values are okay, except for the memory. Okay. Maybe you want to use more or less, but the rest of the value are fine. So the final thing, just to remind you also that the memory, all uh, the this the hard drive space is also limited. So I already mentioned this one, but by default it will create the virtual machine with 256 gigs, which is more than enough. But if you want to expand it here, you have all the all all the instructions. So you can check also using here. So see that. You have everything allocated and these are these distributions the linux distribution are very compact so see that here we we have installed many applications many system libraries and also open phone and a lot of stuff i see that it's just taking five percent of a space so you have a lot of room to to run your cases but your files so most of the time honestly there is no need to increase that that space but if you want you have the instructions there so that's all for this for this video I just want to show you these files and something about the performance in the next video we're going to run a case and do some post processing to see how everything is working so thanks thank you very much for your attention see you next video bye <coughs>